Luke Gillett wants to wear a pink suit to his upcoming wedding, so he came to Simon's. So why do you shop here? I like supporting Canadian-owned uh, businesses, uh, so that's part of it, but the selection is great. Simon's is a Canadian success story. The Quebec-based retailer sells clothing and housewares at 17 stores across Canada. It's set to open two additional locations next year. We're very, uh, we're very excited uh, about these two new stores in Toronto. It's a bold move in a tricky market, plagued with rising costs, fickle customers and giant online competitors. We have a lot more choices as customers today. We have digital shopping, we have ultra-fast fashion players, whether you agree with their practices or not. Customers are shopping these websites. Plus, Simons is taking over part of this ill-fated section of downtown Toronto's Eaton Centre. Previously home to department stores Eaton's, then Sears, then Nordstrom, each of which shut down. And Simons' next door neighbour will be the Bay, which has closed several locations. The customer is evolving, the customer is changing, but the department store is not evolving with them. Simons insists it's different. Sales grew over the past two years by 3%. The CEO says the retailer remains relevant by staying in touch with customers. How do you know that in a year from now you won't be going out of business doing liquidation sales? I guess you never know, right? Uh, the reality is uh, we have to uh, stay competitive. We feel we know the market and uh, we listen to our clients. Some downtown Toronto shoppers hope Simons gets it right. I hope but I think the space is like haunted. Simon's got a lot of great brands, they have great prices. Um, yeah, I think, they're, I think they're gonna be the ones that stick around. Simon's thinks so, but in the fickle fashion market, ultimately the customer gets to decide. Good, eh? Sophia Harris, CBC News, Mississauga, Ontario.